Over half of the nation's forests managed by Forestry England are what we call secondary woodlands. So they've been planted in the last hundred years. They're not ancient woodlands. We're pretty sure that many of them are lacking fungi, in particular mycorrhizal fungi, which partner with trees to help them grow. We're here in this very small ancient woodland on the outskirts of York, and we're trying to do a fungi translocation. We are moving just small quantities of soil from this ancient woodland site to a site on the other side of York. And the reason we're doing it is to try and move some of the special fungi communities here in this ancient woodland to that new woodland creation site, which is likely really just lacking in those fungal communities. And the aim of the project is to try and create not just trees on that new woodland creation site, but a whole woodland ecosystem. Ectomycorrhizal fungi have really important benefits for the trees. They help protect against pests and diseases. During times of drought, they help the trees access water sources that are lower in the ground that their roots can't get to. I was looking into whether we actually see a community of um, ectomycorrhizal fungi on new woodland creation sites where we haven't seen trees for a number of years. And basically I found that these populations didn't really exist. It made me start to think like, we're planting these new woodlands all over the country. It's a really exciting project, but we're using areas of land that have not seen trees on them for possibly hundreds of years, maybe more. So the soils are often really degraded and they've not got the normal woodland structure that we would expect. There is more to a woodland than just the trees. Um, we need to think about what's in the soil, what's on the ground, as well as the trees. So we're trying to improve what's in the soil to get to a more woodland type habitat um, and we know that if we do that these woodlands will be more resilient. We wanted to make sure that this innovative novel technique is as low risk as possible. So we're only taking tiny soil cores which means the impact on the source population, this population, should be absolutely minimal and should easily recover. The distance of the translocation is only nine miles and that's crucial to reduce risks from things like pests and diseases but we don't think they are present. So it's a nice low risk technique and the crucial thing is we use environmental DNA to test the entire process to see if it's working. It could take a couple of years for the fungi at the new site to grow, it could take a decade, it could take two decades before we know whether it's been effective. But it's certainly worth trying, a really exciting time.